We have a new shell extension that it seems it can look into the future because it does something we might see on some next GNOME release. Oh my god, will be another GNOME release? Don't listen to her, she's Katie. You stupid K-bitch. What you doing? There will be GNOME releases for the next billion years. That's the extension on GitHub or Ego, and it does a bunch of things. It adds a volume mixer, it moves the media controls to shell menu, and it does the same for the notifications, which is what we care mostly. That's the default shell calendar, with the two vertical panels and the notifications on the left side. If we enable the extension and check on again, we'll only get a single column with calendar, weather and clocks. The notifications will now be on shell menu, that is probably a better place. And from the extension settings, we can further improve the visuals. We can detach the notifications box from the rest menu and move it to a separate panel right after, which gives this pretty nice result. Actually, notifications on calendar was a prime complaint point since the original introduction. Yes. The full gnome is a prime complaint. Please forgive her. She's fired already. She can hang out with her friends from Twitter. <laughs> Anywho, few days back we have this experimental concept that shows a calendar without notifications, very similar to the extension. And moreover, it can scale the content depending the resolution. But less experimental is this merge request, that tries to improve files tab system mainly by adding pin tabs. Hmm. First of, ignore the no colored icons. It is some work in progress upstream, moving everything to SVG. So, what's new here is that if we open a second tab, we get a new option to pin it. That will move the tab to the left side, and resize it similar to web browsers. But this doesn't really work very good at the moment, so I skip talking more. Bye!